All right, welcome back everybody. I am finishing up flying. It sucks because it's a little bit cloudy. The sun was going through my, one of my favorite little spots over here. Hey, now I can see my face. See my face, and then my kids text me. So I just left this little spot. It is absolutely beautiful. Bugs are starting to get a little hairy, but <clears throat> I'm doing this on the cell phone and hopefully I don't drop my Samsung Z Fold 3. That would suck. But uh, I figured I'd just do a little vlog because I'm starting to enjoy doing this a little more and uh, hopefully you guys do too. Um, man, I, I hope this does justice how absolutely beautiful it is over there. But I hope you guys find yourselves well. It is God's day. It is Sunday. It has been a blessed day. Got to shoot trap, spend time with my father, um, and enjoy a quiet evening with the family and kids. Um, I can't complain. I got a chance to go out and fly. Um, I'm probably half mile, in between a quarter mile and a half mile from the house in that general direction. You can sort of see the valley top up there. I can still smell my fire from here. That's wild. Little tinky fire just smoldering. But, um, I broke out into some older areas that I've flown once before, I believe, and wanted to capture some different stuff. Just keep content coming. The woods are starting to change. You guys have followed along the scene. But what's really cool over here is that there are some, I call them dinosaurs, trees that have been here since I was a little man, hiking down here, and uh, they have fallen. And two of them kind of fell back to back, and I did a video here, and I always say, I hope I do it justice, because I want to make sure that, uh, man, this thing's smushed, that I do justice to, I gotta stop and fix my shoe. Hold on a sec here, I'm just gonna tuck them in. Look at that. Hiking shoes of a hero. All right, let me post you up real quick. See if I can just put you down. Put you down real quick. Is that gonna stay? Yeah, get the blade for a sec while I tie the shoe. Beautiful. All right. My bad. Apologies. Not even a live video, and I'm fucking up. Um, so I was saying, there are some huge trees right here, and they kind of fall back to back. So look, this thing's super, super freaking huge, and. Parts of them broke um, a little while back. What is that? That's not a piece of a balloon. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take that home and throw it away because uh, poison for the animals. I'll put it in my bag here. Pocket. All right. So this monster, which probably has no perspective through the cell phone. It's like the side of the tree at the side of my house in the backyard, but it splits so you can see it broken and then the other shoot goes up and splits twice Where is it? Right here goes back 70 80 feet and then another one Just goes let me see if I can get a better view of that You know what I'm gonna take the easy way out of the woods hopefully not fall on my face Now the problem is going to be this is going to get higher, so I got to get down. So I'm going to zigzag right here, try to get my ass down off this tree without falling on my face. All right, here we go. This is much harder than it looks with a phone. And we're jumping. All right. I'm going to walk past, depending on how long this video becomes. Let's see where we're at. Oh, we're only at three minutes. All right. So I've pointed out at the power lines, the spot here that the river has broken and is oxbowing itself. And my concern was that after the spring floods, two things would happen. It would wash away the sediment. So if I'm looking at the power lines, you know, the power lines run here, the river comes at us, wraps around a corner and basically almost touches itself and then goes back away. That little gap is broken away. And <clears throat> that was like a 20 foot huge section of land 20 feet wide. What the hell was that moving? A deer. Um, so it broke away. And that little bit of turn right where it goes into it was building up sediment towards the end of the year last year. And I was afraid that the flooding would leave more sediment and make that turn and kind of wash out this whole area. And uh, the last time I came down here, it was really flooded and I didn't see any sign of that because the water was so high and that area was still filled with water. Uh, excuse me. Well, today, that whole area is stagnant. I'll check it out. It's ADD real quick. 
I've been looking for bobcat prints because one of our neighbor's ring cams had caught a uh, bobcat in their yard. So I've been looking for signs of that, but nothing but deer, and I actually saw some turkey prints. Kind of see my area way back there. <sighs> More deer. Big. But anyway, so that area, that's a fresh one. That wasn't there earlier. Ooh, that's different. Oh, so here's the size of my hand compared to the print, so you get an idea. But um, yeah, so that whole area has become stagnant, and the sediment buildup is significant. So now that the water's slowing down, it's just going to get worse and worse. Oh, the quads just came through here. <sighs> Let's see if we can find another way. Cause I don't feel like getting my feet soaked. No, I don't have a choice. That is some gross ass shit. A little print. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, feet are wet. Like I said, Air Max 95s. Hiking shoes of the year. Some more footprints. We're almost up to it. That's a deep one. But um, that is going to change a lot of the wildlife in this area. A lot of the beaver. I don't know what they're, they're dens or whatever the hell they call them that are uh, over here. I'm just going to keep talking and looking at different prints. Um, they're going to move because there's no moving water there. Their food sources and stuff like that are going to move. Last time I came down here, this, this is typical. You know, you can walk over it, but this was filled right up to the top, dumping into the river, which is... 150 feet. Make sure you can see my machete that way. All right. Yeah, this is no brainer. All of the animal prints that were here that were really cool are all covered up. I can show you a deer. I wanted to show you some coyote. All right, back on a decent path. All right, so you can see, actually, that's another oxbow that you probably can't see in the camera that oxbowed itself again. So the river, and again, I'm gonna be 45 in July and I've been down here since I was five and can remember all the way back then, the river has changed significantly. And this is probably some of the biggest changes I've seen down here. And it's kind of neat, you know, getting old enough to where I can see these crazy changes. All right, another. The, the changes are enough where it's, it's changing the area and it, it's shocking to see. And I'm curious to how this is going to affect, so I think this is going to be a rapid change. You know, you're going to have less water here. Some of the growth and stuff is going to go away. I would say within two years. I, mean, I am no scientist, biologist, whatever is about this. But, you know, you take away a significant water source and stuff around you change. a little bird right there. All right, so we're walking up. Should be able to see the power lines now. <clears throat> A lot of little birds that just kind of creep up right next to you. All right, that's deer, no coyote, anything new from when I walked. You know, you get little muskrats and stuff like that. Those are little, that's a little dinky deer. There you go, look at those little tiny footprints. Hey, little hands, this is all deer, coyote. All right, so I'm gonna walk you over to that area. So we're walking up underneath the power lines. And you guys, if you follow, have seen, I'm gonna spell on my face. There you go. You guys have seen this area. Some of the first turkey prints I've seen this year. That's a smaller one. It was a big fat bastard earlier. All right, here, watch out for snakes. Oh, oh. I have flown this area a few times. We've played airsoft down here. Super cool. Change this area's changed a lot. When I was a young man, let's get back over here around this, it was all flat. There was none of this shit here, and they would just fill up with water and ice over. And we played uh, makeshift hockey and stuff like that down here. And messed around on the ice. That happened no more. It's all kind of marshy. All right, here we go. This is kind of depressing. So this is all stagnant.
not moving wise, a lot of footprints. So I'll walk over there, I guess. Looking down for footprints. There's turkey prints down there for sure. Ooh. Some more uh, raccoon tracks, trash pandas. So the beaver are coming in and out. It's all laid out. I kind of want to walk down there. Look at all the bird prints. Holy moly, I'll get down there. It's kind of cool. All right, where can I jump down and get it through? So this is usually two feet dry time, two feet, two and a half feet of water, and it is almost completely dried out already. A little bit of deep water. This is what breaks my heart right here. Got to make sure I'm in the camera shot, and then I'm, I'm looking at the ground to not... Holy moly. So all this broke away, and it's even getting worse. This whole corner I'm standing on is quadrupled in size. I should pay attention. There's probably some freaking animal prints. Massive eagle shit. Trash panda prints. Here you go. Look at this. Hopefully it's showing up. Ooh, almost fell. Some big prints here. All right. So, like I said, river flowing well. River is supposed to be turning and going that way. And it's not. That's missing. Huge section missing, and it's just breaking away worse. This is not, the new tree here in the water. I hear some fresh beaver too. Let's see. It's still wet, so this is not that old. Didn't break it away. So that's five feet deep, and that's in low water. What the hell was that? Oh, there's a duck way out there. Wow, it broke away bad. So you can see the bend that it was supposed to turn and go back away. And now it's just feeding it a little bit, which that will eventually dry up. And the current's pushing that way towards like our old swimming hole and where we start hiking on the other side there. And you can see the hill that you see many times from some of the videos. Um, you can see that in Lobster, Lobster Man FPV there that did his flight with his Mavic from his house to mine. That was pretty wild. Big deer. So yeah, this area's changed a lot. Walk up to this bank and not fall in. It's just a road in the way. So there's probably a beaver build up in here. Yeah, there's the secondary oxbow right there. It used to kind of loop around, actually loop and then come around. I can't see my thing, loop and then come around and it broke off that oxbow. That's another tree we can cross when the water's low. As you can see, it's just at the base of the water there. And that's about it. Quiet. Something's been tromping through. I, like woods bamboo, I call it. I don't know what it is. It's like reeds, bamboo, but it's all knocked down over there. So something's been barricading its way through there. Man. This water, obviously, you've seen some of the flooding. The water comes way over the bank, so we're looking another five feet up that it's been and flooded out this whole area. Where are we at? We're about 13 minutes. That's not bad. But yeah, that's kind of sad. You can see the hill going up. So you can see the telephone pole low, one in the middle, two, and then the top of that. So then three, four, five back from there is where my house is. I'm down here so you can see my playground, my favorite spot in the world. It's not not far from the house, which is great. That's why that's why I stayed here. But uh I'm gonna troop back home, enjoy my quiet Sunday evening. Well, actually, you know what? I'll wait till we get right out here, see if we can find some coyote prints. And then you can stop looking at my face. I think I try something new. And hopefully the stabilization on the phone, because it's you know, cell phones versus GoPro or Insta, which is epic. I was really impressed with the last videos that I did, other than the sound. And it wasn't dirt. If you watch the last kind of vlog that I did, I have that plastic cover that I have, and it was twisted, and it was covering up the mics. That's what it was. It wasn't dirt, because I went downstairs after I watched the video, and it stressed me out, thinking something was wrong. 
just to find out there was the plastic little condom type thing that protects it. It's just covered over the mic. So no big deal. What do we got here? Just a little prints. Woodpeckers everywhere. Usually I'll just stop. Kind of get my bearing and listen to what's around me because when you stop walking or when I'm doing a vlog and talking, that's when you hear stuff around you. Oh, hopefully this is doing justice. It's freaking beautiful. Definitely over 70. Breeze is gone. All the flights I did today, very happy with. My antenna setups that I'm doing, I'm doing longer antennas. I'm really in love with these eye flight antennas that I got for uh, Two-Face, which is the Beta 95X, that inverted thing. And I got the same antenna on Sinister, which is my uh, Happy Model Sin 8, my uh, go-to. Okay, here we go. We got some more prints. And then the goggles, where I've got diversity finally on the goggles. All right, here's a small print. There's a coyote. Small one. That means there's more. They're obviously looking for food. Oh, there's a decent sized one. There you go. Give you an idea. Decent size. Some weird birds down here. If you want to crack up and laugh a little bit, last week on the way to the range, these weird birds started walking across the road and they were doing this weird dance and they were kind of, every step this big thing took, it stopped and did this kind of freaking weird 80s dance. Never heard of it. And then realized there was two little tiny, we're talking tiny little babies with it. And they were all doing this dance. Every, and I can't really demonstrate it. It was just stop and go back and forth every step. It was like its head was on a gimbal and the head would stay still, but the whole body was moving. It was so fucking crazy. And then when I go to move and sort of out of the way, they kind of dart and stop. Needless to say, nobody got hurt. But I'm like, what the hell is that? I'm telling my father, I'm telling the president of the gun club, and they're all giggling. I'm like, how do I research this? So I literally research Dancing Birds of Connecticut. And of course, it's got to have a really weird name. They're called Woodcocks. I guess they used to be a really big game bird back in the day. And uh, it's illegal now to um, hunt them and stuff like that. So they're well protected and super rare, I guess to see one around here it was a decent size i wouldn't even know how to describe it it was half the size of a bowling ball does that make any sense it was a pretty pretty decent size let's see i can show you the valley because they replaced that pole so you can see the sunlight on all the new grass that they graded to put that pole in they did a lot of work to build that up some of the overflow all stagnant now this was all moving water coming off the river there's a spot right here i'll show you let's see here any more footprints So this, this used to be literally just run off right here and is now a permanent water fixture. Whatever you know, it's a fixture of water. <laughs> this forever now has water. That'd be kind of really crazy to fly through. But this whole valley it's carved out. This wasn't there 15 years ago. It was just a little trickler when the river overflowed and then would find its way back to the river. And now it's moving. It's really low right now. But it's permanent, and one of our walking trails used to go that way to the back side of where that huge uh, land spot missing there. But yeah, that's crazy. And you can see more knocked down reeds. That's weird. And they're all broke at a certain height. Very odd. But yeah. Quiet. Very quiet. But I appreciate you guys taking the time to... Uh, check out my little vlog stare at my goofy face for a little bit hope the quality of this is good i'm about to get my feet wet again and uh i got three packs in let's see here any prints very unique took some chances a little bit of elevation following around over all of these streams and riverbeds some natural oil coming out of the ground and uh yeah, nothing, nothing gets the blood flowing by going over water or being 70, 80 feet up in trees. And there, as you can see, there is not a lot of greenery, just a little bit of buds. Um, so it would be super easy to catch a freaking ghost branch 
and I use the Cadex Baby Rattel on these guys, the big Rattel on the Cinewhoops. Oh, and speaking of that, my fancy frame that nobody has will be here hopefully Tuesday. Got the notification FedEx has it. This will be a fun build and it'll basically be a slap on of the other frame, frame, the other stuff. It's the exact same size frame. I just took some electronics off it, do something different with the LEDs. So I can get a little bit longer flay time. I'm gonna take some of them off. I'm kind of thinking about doing headlights on this one that maybe I can turn on and off. So if we come back down here, I'll have some form of vision. Or maybe, I don't know, the raw DVR looks kind of cool and it's, you can see more than the HD. So I might have to experiment. Maybe just do a, uh, oh, what the hell is it called? You take the certain lens off it, the IR blocker or something like that. So that way, if I add, maybe do black light or IR lights, I'll be able to see as headlights in the night. Nobody else will be able to see them. I don't know. Cool, so I'm like 30 seconds from home, just at the top of the hill here, if I don't slip and fall. And uh, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for taking the time. Share your thoughts. If you think it's stupid, cool, you like this stuff, you like going down the woods, you want me to come down here more, show you more down here. Or maybe I'll just come down here and sit, vlog, and wait for deer to pop up or something. That might be cool. So this is all new growth. All this gunk cabbage and shit. Yeah, I see my neighbor's house at the top of the hill, so I'm five minutes out. Thank you for taking the time. Hopefully, because I kept putting it close, it was too close, but we'll see. I'll review it when I get home. And uh, if you're watching this, that means I posted it. And if you didn't, then this makes no sense at all. <laughs> Peace out.